scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. set to do great and awesome things in our midst. Just pray one prayer and say, Lord, do something in my life. Pastor Jake shared a very powerful scripture. When the people begin to lament because there is no bread. Pray and say, Lord, do something. Whatever your child, just do something. Pray. Forget about whatever problem you came here with. Bless his name. Because he is worthy. Doesn't matter if you're sick in your body, just forget about any sickness, any infirmity. Lift your hands and worship him. Because God is able. You sang earlier on that he is able. If you believe it, act like it. Breathe upon me, breath of God. Breathe upon me, Spirit of the Lord. As I lift my hands in surrender. Your name, most high, we are yielding to your spirit, and we're walking in your love, Jesus. I
responding to the anointing. I believe that God is healing people right now. I believe that God is healing people. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you in this place have your way sing lord you are welcome lord you are welcome in this place lord you are welcome in this place lord you are come to meet an idol you didn't come to meet those dead gods that are lifeless and have no power to change ye are come unto Mount Zion the living God is in the midst of his people
Tell him your desire. Change us, heal us, set us free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Just hug and greet one another. Be seated. God will visit you tonight in a mighty way. I assure you. That presence that can change, that presence that can transform you, can build you. He said, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. And so I'd like for your heart to be open because God is not doing the same thing. Not when his presence is in this place. We thank him for the gift of his presence. Inexplainable but undeniable. Men can write books on faith. Men can write books on prosperity. But how can you describe his presence? visit you tonight and your life will never be the same. We believe we believe Lord we believe Lord we believe we believe Comment unto him must believe that he is Hebrews 11 verse 6 and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him every time you come before his presence you must realize that there is a reward for seeking him you are not wasting your time for he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain He's called the Prince of Peace. When he comes, he truly gives you peace. Peace is not just quietness and rest. He gives you peace. He said, peace I give you. My peace I leave with you. Not as the world gives. His presence brings peace. His presence brings Every time you behold his glory, you see how small those mountains are. This is a sign that you are in his presence. Lord, we thank you. I have a very serious message tonight for the body of Christ. Very, very serious. It's a very prophetic message. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to be ambassadors not only ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven but help your brothers and sisters and families there are many messages that have come out from here that offer guidance direction prophetic accuracy and insight to help a lot of people we made our messages free ministries sell tapes and messages and make 
hundreds of millions from it. But the time for that will come. We are more interested in getting the agenda of the Spirit to the nations, as many who will be interested in hearing. Let me tell you something without missing words. We have a message. We're not just crouching for what to say. For the Bible says, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. The Spirit is speaking. Helping us to have an understanding of times and seasons. To comprehend the things of the Spirit. And we thank God because he is granting us grace to build according to pattern. We are that uncompromising remnant. Who will not defile ourselves with the meat of Babylon that has corrupted many great men. We have chosen the path of the Spirit. And in spite of the pain it will bring, we will endure. We are this army. Determined to stand until we become all that he has destined us to be. And let me tell you something. It may take a while, but as surely as the morning comes after a night, a day will come. It will take long. But I have an assurance that a time will come when the word of God will be scarce. And whoever has that word will run with it. The price you are paying now is nothing compared to the price men will pay for their ignorance. This is why God is exposing us to his truth. Never take for granted the things that God is doing. This is not a church. You have your church where you worship on Sunday. This is an agenda. This is a program. This is a prophetic agenda. This is what God is doing. Hallelujah. So I like to prepare your heart. Never take for granted. Don't just come casually. For every time he calls you to a banquet, a table has been prepared before you. Hallelujah. And if you will believe him enough to realize you are not wasting your time, then the time of laughter will come. The Bible says it is as soon as Zion travails. The time of traveling is painful. Every great man knows that the birth of anything valuable is painful. Some of you had to trek to come here. Some of you probably have not eaten anything. There are families, this family, this whole family, father, mother, and all the children left Kogi State this morning to come. What are they looking for? For as soon as Zion travails, she will put forth a son. I see Barista from Abuja. What you think people just come? You see, this is where what men of God don't get. We celebrate these things and just think this is a sign of increase in ministry. This is nonsense. It's my desire that this place becomes a portal where. The voice of the spirit will not be scarce. That we will not become part of the noise making preachers talking junks who are out of alignment with the things of the spirit. That God will put his word. He said he gave me the scroll and I did eat it. And he said go and prophesy. Hallelujah. That every time you come here, you will hear the counsel of the Spirit. Not the opinion of a man. Not the program, a doctrinal program of a sect or a religion. But that you will find God. This is why we depend so much in the Holy Spirit. It's not diabolism. We have come to realize that he's the only one who can help us fulfill this agenda. We are perpetually inadequate without him. That's why you hear us talk so much about the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people have a serious problem with that. But Jesus sent us the Spirit to make us like Him. He's the Holy Ghost. He's the Spirit of the living God. He's the Holy Ghost 
the scepter of the king of kings yeah. he's the holy ghost the seal of the age to come he's changing everything in obedience to Christ Jesus told us, he said, and when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. He will bring to your remembrance all the things that I've taught you, and he will show you. He will take up the things that are of the Father and show you. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, call unto me and I will answer. I will show you. Not common things, but great and mighty things that you know not. An apocalypse, an unveiling of that which has been hidden. The Bible tells us that there are certain mysteries that have been hidden from the church. Appointed for a kind and a type of people. And Paul begins to, text, to tell the Corinthian church, he said, I has not seen. That means no dimension of prophetic eye before now will be able to access those archives. They are under lock and key. Have been sealed until the time appointed. The Bible says the prophets kept stretching through their prophetic eyes. To look into those times. But it was not given unto them. He said neither has any ear heard. What God has prepared for them that love him. But the Bible says these mysteries will be granted unto a generation. Not necessarily just because of our prayer lives. It is part of the prophetic mandate of the spirit for a type and a kind of generation. Hallelujah. That generation, that prophetic and apostolic generation that will step in in beauty and light. There is a kind of revelation and access into deep spiritual things. In other words, the knowledge and the access we've had hitherto is good, but it cannot sustain us in these new seasons that we're stepping into. And so there is a need to cry unto God to say, Lord, let there be an opening of the seal so that those things that have been hidden aforetime, that the scrolls will be opened and the seals will be broken. So that these things that have been hidden, that even the great prophets could not access, would it be open unto a generation. But it will always take men who will defy the status quo and begin to press and say, Lord, show us. Open our eyes. Open our eyes that we may see. We are tired of recycling messages that have stopped people from moving higher. Oh Lord, that you will break that seal. And the Lord says, if you call unto me out of that revelation. For when the people of God were in captivity in Babylon, Daniel understood by books that after 70 years, it was the time of their liberation and exodus out of Babylon. And the Bible says, on the strength of that insight, he began to intercede. And suddenly, Gabriel, the archangel in service, was going to bring the prophetic blueprint. He said, I, Gabriel, am come to give thee understanding. Because every time God sends a revelation, it is signified by an angel. Revelations 1 by 1 verse 1. The Bible says the revelation of Jesus Christ, which he gave unto his servant John, that he should show unto his servant, and he gave it and signified it by his angel. Every time there are angels that convey revelations and guide the safe arrival of those revelations. That's why to every church there were angels assigned. Their job is to make sure that the blueprint of the spirits that have been revealed will arrive safely. The Bible says, while Gabriel was on his way, the prince of the power of the air, the spiritual wickedness that governed the territory of Persia, attempted to stop him. And as he continued traveling, he wouldn't give up. The Bible says, Michael, the archangel, came. And that message was brought. There must be a generation 
Ruth Heflin left this prophecy before she went to be with the Lord. She said there is a generation that will reveal the glory of God. It will no longer be church as usual. God is doing a new thing. I'm announcing to you. I've shared it here again and again and I've been criticized for it. The old wine has finished. There is a blowing of a new trumpet. It's not the old. It says after two days he will revive us. But on the third day he will raise us up. There are many people who have gone out of sync with spiritual things. The sounds of the spirit are now strange and foreign to them because of all of the benefits that may come with ministry. But let me tell you, there are a people who are determined to stay. He said the Lord will do nothing but reveal his secrets. There are secrets. He will grant you access to do business in deep waters. And you will uncover things. This is what God is training you to become. Happy are you when God finds you faithful. Happy are you when God finds you uncompromising. It takes death to bring certain dimensions of glory into the earth realm. But happy are you. Hallelujah. I want to share with you very powerfully this night. I want to show you by the Spirit of God where the church is in the prophetic blueprint of the ages. It's important for us to know that we are playing prophecy. We are prophecy in motion. Hallelujah. The entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation is an unfailing an unveiling of prophetic things hallelujah every story in the bible everything that has been written has its natural meaning but has its prophetic meaning everything an adumbration of the things that god wants to do the wedding in cana for instance was a type of the old wine and the new wine that is coming to the body of christ Hallelujah. It's very important. Thank you, Jesus. The first thing I want to share with you is the current agenda of the kingdom of darkness. I have been very concerned. Please take tonight's teaching very seriously. I have been very concerned at the deafness of even those who call themselves prophets. I'm going to say some things tonight that will disturb a number of you. To the agenda of the darkness. The Bible says that we be not ignorant of the devices. The word devices there means the structure and the methodology. Do not be ignorant. In other words, your ignorance will not become good for you. Do not be ignorant. There is a plot. There is an agenda of darkness. Listen. Every generation and every dispensation has had Satan coming in to corrupt the things that God would want to do. In the Garden of Eden, the Bible says that Satan came in all subtlety, having been thrown down. There was judgment in heaven, the Bible tells us. And Lucifer... That cherub that covereth, who wanted to arise, he said, I will arise and be as the stars of God. I want to be God by myself. And the Bible says there was war in heaven. And he fell with a third of the angels. Isaiah 14 and Ezekiel 28. It was his fall and the preceding judgment that led to Genesis 1 verse 2. And the earth was dark and void, formless. Let me announce to you, that hell is not some mystery. I've said it again and again. Hell is right in the earth. Hallelujah. And hell is not just a location, but hell is a spirit. The Bible says death, hell, and the grave 
will be cast into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is not demonic. The lake of fire is part of the kingdom of God. It was designed for the judgment of Satan and all who are in fraternity and partnership with him. So there is an agenda. In the days of Noah, the Bible makes us to understand that the fallen angels, because they have the ability to translate themselves, they started translating themselves and intermingling with the daughters of men in an attempt to corrupt the race. That was the agenda of Satan during that dispensation. Hallelujah. When God raised a prophet, Elijah the Tishbite, the Bible tells us that there was a very strange woman, a prophetic type of the mystery Babylon called Jezebel. Every time God has a, an agenda, Satan always has a strategy and a plot. And not knowing it can cause believers severe casualty. When Jesus began to admonish the seven churches that were spread across Asia Minor, a type of the prophetic churches, a, a type of the church age, for every church that he commended, he began to reveal to them the plots of Satan. For certain churches, he began to tell them that there were certain churches that were the churches of Satan, where Satan sat. Others, he warned them that the strategy of the devil is to make men look warm and to say, I have acquired this wealth. In every generation and every prophetic agenda of God, there is a strategy. Bible says do not be ignorant and I want to share with you right now the strategy that the devil would want to use to cause the sons in light to abort the prophetic agenda that God has for us you ready number one deception 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 Ephesians 4 Ephesians 4. Look at me. Deception is the art of bringing men into error. Are you listening to me? To bring men into error. To cause a disaligning. To bring men into error. There is a lot. One of the things. One of the biggest problems of the church. And even the church in Nigeria right now is the spirit of deception. It's a terrible agenda by the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. And the Bible begins to warn us that this deception can be so great, even the elect can be deceived if care is not taken. There are lots of things going on in our churches and going on in various places. And because many men of God are not standing close to the ark there's so much deception popular things that look nice but are, are orchestrated by the devil many doctrines that we uphold today they are the doctrines of the nicolaitians metaphysical doctrines they look nice they look great they inspire us but they are not of god How did it become like this? One mentor teaching another. Somebody going for conference and getting it. Somebody sharing his testimony. Deception. Hmm. Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. God knew that these kinds of things will arise. And it was on account of this that he gave unto men gifts. It's a shame upon the fivefold ministry that we do not even realize why God anointed and carved out the structure of the fivefold ministry. It's not for jamboree, not for competition, not to show which office is greater than which. Are you there? Verse 7. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and he gave gifts unto men. Those gifts are not talents. Those gifts are people. 
Now he that has ascended, what is it but he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended, you see that he descended to the lower parts of the earth. Jesus went to hell and the Bible calls it the lower part of the earth. Not the lower part outside the earth. Hallelujah. Verse 11. He gave unto some apostles. Listen please. MOG, listen carefully. He gave unto some apostle. To some prophets. To some evangelists. To some pastors and teachers. Why? For launching. Answer me. For building ministries and empires. For celebrating vain accomplishments that have no corresponding effect in the spirit. The Bible says, for the perfecting, equipping, maturing, building up, structuring of the saints. That's why he gave the gifts. That they, the saints, will now do the work of the ministry. To the end... That we all come into the unity of faith. And of the knowledge. Epignosis. Accurate knowledge. Of the son of God. Unto a perfect man. Unto the measure. Of the fullness. Of the stature. Of the fullness of Christ. And even that growth is to an end. Verse 14. Read together. That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine. Now listen, he said, by the slight of men and the crowning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deception. Deception. There is a lot of deception going on in the body of Christ. And a lot of people don't want to speak. Why? Because they don't want to, they hate the injury. Let me tell you something. If you do not want to stand the pain of ministry, go and get a job. Just go somewhere. We have a lot of men of God who are afraid of their ego, their reputation, and they will not alert the body when there is danger. The Bible says, not many of you should presume to be teachers because you will be judged. Hallelujah. There is a lot of deception in the body of Christ. A lot of gospels, Colossians 2 verse 8. Can we look at that quickly? Thank you, Jesus. The presence of God is strong in this place. Colossians 2 verse 8. The agenda of the devil. Are you there? One to read. It's projected. Beware lest any man spoil you. Stop. The word spoil there is let any man make you a spoil. You know when? when let any man plunder you. Cheat you. Let any man spoil you. Through what? What is, hold on. What is philosophy? What is philosophy? Nice, well-crafted, entertaining, intelligent, intellectual presentation of scripture. The Bible calls it philosophy. And what? Vain deceit. Is that in your Bible? It says after what? The tradition of men and after fraternity with this world based on the principles and concepts that have evolved from men who brought it about without the presence of God after the redument this is what is happening in many churches after the redument of this world but not after Christ we have emulated a lot of junks and things that have no spiritual bearing we have read all kinds of unbelievers have written entrepreneurial books on how to run a church like a business empire. 
and we have people who are gullible they went for retreats but not to pray they went to sit down and listen to doctrines of devils and they have learned all kinds of demonic ways of manipulation and seductions and they are deceiving the body of Christ after the regiment of the world are you, are you hearing me tonight with my mouth shall i make it known from the rising of the sun right until it's going down i will preach of the mercies of the lord some of us are already being deceived right now there are all kinds of metaphysical deceit please hear me some of us in our innocence we have mentored men that are misleading us in the name of deceit praise the lord there are many churches right now that do all kinds of satanic and demonic things the man of god has special members they take to the river they do all kinds of demonic satanic things because they read the bible does not mean it's of god there are men of god that add the word of god with all kinds of satanic books 12 books of moses 11 books of moses all kinds of metaphysical philosophical sociological junks we put it together the fact that you are compromising and seeing results does not mean it's God. There are natural principles. And men by nature are gullible. That a crowd is coming like this does not necessarily verify that we are of God. Hallelujah. Many of us like results. Anything that looks like results we just go hook, line, and sink. But may the Lord grant us eyes to see. May we see the handwritings on the wall. And see that for many people, it is written, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufesen. God is saying, we have been weighing you for a long time. You have been misleading people. God has been weighing you. But Ikabo, the glory will depart from many churches. And Ezekiel was caught up in the spirit. And when Ezekiel went by the spirit to the temple, he saw the atrocities that were happening in the temple. Yet the men of God were still dressing nice, wearing suits, wearing kaftan like me, having flowers around, but they are not of God. Deceiving people and being deceived themselves. God grant us ears to hear and eyes to see. There are an evolution of erroneous doctrines. Please listen to me. Some of these doctrines have been so long in the body of Christ. They are popular. We like them. You hear them on TV. People can attest to have received results from them. But I tell you the truth, they are not of God. When Moses threw his rod, Pharaoh also threw his rod. And they all became serpents. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come out of her. Come out. It was a cry to the Zion of God. Come out of her. Be not partakers of her hollow tree. So that you will not participate in her, in her plague. And the deception is twofold. Number one, erroneous doctrines. Popular but erroneous doctrines. Well received but erroneous doctrines. Result producing but erroneous doctrines. Number two, listen, look up please. The second, so the first dimension of the deception is a reception of doctrines that may be popular. Listen. Don't get me wrong. Some of the people who advocate these doctrines are innocent people. Genuinely called of God.
Hallelujah. The second is deception to come, listen. I think this second one is even more, is worse than the first dimension of deception. Where people refuse to open up themselves to the greater light and the truth of God's word because of their ego and what it will cost them. Are you listening to me? There are men who will rather die than to begin to explore the new things they are hearing to find out whether they are wrong. There are churches and denominations that will never change. It doesn't matter even if, it's, if Jesus appears to them. They have built a reputation around their doctrines too much. It, it, they will have to die. Many people will not adjust. Rather, they will criticize any truth that is beyond their comprehension. I, I said it during the teachings, the full, the full gospel. There are people who have mistakenly been convinced that they are the alpha and omega of all the keys of revelation of the kingdom and that the sphere of all that they know is all that there is in God. This is another kind of deception. The best any man can be is an effective member of the body. So we have men who are arrogant. I once had a man of God make a very arrogant statement that even if for any reason he has cause to read another man's book, even if he reads it, he will see a lot of things through that book that even the author did not see. I said, look at it. See that? That's what stopped the scribes from receiving the message of Jesus. Because they had known all the books, the Pentateuch. They were the doctors and philosophers of that time. They had every knowledge that they needed. So when Jesus came with a simple message, thy kingdom come, by your will being done, they rejected it because it did not appeal to them. And when they found out that the whole town was running in sincere hunger, just like many people do today, they began to criticize and made it a point of duty that Jesus would die. But his death only escalated the message. And today, millions and billions of people are receiving this truth. It takes a childlike heart. One of the biggest deceptions in the church right now is the ego to accept the fact that, look, could it be that this that I've held on to, could it be wrong? Or could it be that it may not be wrong, but there is a higher light? Are you listening to me? There are truths that are not wrong. The Bible says he made many lights. Those lights gave illumination in their capacity. But then God made two great lights. Let me give you an advice. You must posture yourself consistently. Listen to me. You must posture yourself. Open up yourself and be in a position of perpetual realignment. Because revelation is progressive. That is a sign that you are making progress in the spirit. As you begin to explore the deep things of God, you will begin to see clearer. The Bible says Jesus touched his eyes and he saw men but he saw them like trees. If Jesus had left him, he would argue that men are like trees. But then he touched his eyes again. And the Bible says he began to see clearly. Open our eyes, O God, that we may behold wondrous things out of thy law. There has been an inaccurate interpretation of the truth of God's word. Inaccurate. And let me tell you something. When it comes to the accurate interpretation of God's word. It's not about Bible college and theological study. It's about the spirit of prophecy. Because the Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Deception. 
some of our family members today have been taught that when they leave a particular man of God, their destiny goes with him. Have you, have you had that kind of gospel? Where the man of God ties himself and says, you are tied to the oil on my life. If you leave, you will fail. It's called the doctrine of the Lycolatians. It came from the pit of hell. Popular, result producing, but erroneous. This does not come from God. The reason why many men of God like it is because it's lucrative. It has a lot of financial benefits. If I can have 10 wealthy people tied to my oil. Men have just found ways to camp and to ease away their insecurities and frustrations. So they create gospels that try to make them feel secured by threatening people around. It came from the devil. Some of you are already doing it. Stop it tonight. You are being in deception. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. God never gave man authority to usurp authority over another person. The concept of fatherhood and mentorship is not idolatry. It's to guide and instruct in righteousness. Oh, but there is a change. There is a change. I tell you, there is a change. Things will not be as they have always been. There is the hand of God. Bringing judgment and bringing redemption. Because there are many people that are in this error innocently. Both men of God and people. We used to believe some of these things years ago. But as we began to explore, every time we believed it, something in our hearts told us, uh uh, go back. And like the Bereans, we went back. And when we began to explore, we found out that there were a lot of question marks. They did a lot of filling the gap. And we said, no way. What is supposed to be in that gap? This is what the Lord has been. There are many of you, when you hear a message, it's not like you are cynical. Something in your spirit tells you, go back. Go back. When other people are shouting, whoa. God says, uh-uh, fill in that gap before you rejoice. Fill in the gap. It's deception. It's deception. It's happening fast. Fast. There are deceptive church growth principles that are taught in ministers' conferences. Deceptive, diabolical, occultic church growth principles. There are deceptive church fundraising principles. Popular, seemingly result producing. But hear this voice tonight, I'm speaking to you. John said, I am the voice of one. They said, who are you? Where do you belong? Which camp do you belong? John said, uh -uh, this is not an issue of camp. I am just a voice. One of the first assignments of the spirit of prophecy is to destroy the altars of Baal that a new one be built. Deception. The strength of the kingdom of darkness is ignorance. For as long as the body of Christ remains in ignorance, ignorance, the inaccurate understanding of scriptures. Revelation is not an opinion of man. It's an unveiling of that which has been hidden. And that happens by the spirit of God. Deception. Hallelujah. Number two. Agenda of the devil. For the church in this season is going to shock you what I'm about to say. Distractions through religious activities. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Distractive religious activities. Hmm. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. 
You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made them yours. The highest praise to the King. He will take all the glory. He will take all the praise. He will take all dominion. He will take all the praise. He will make it yours. Paul seeing and speaking to the Hebrew church. He said with all things have been made under the feet of Jesus. He said but we do not yet see. Although from heaven's perspective it has been so. There is still a contention in the earth realm. That's why God will use voices to make that a reality. That Christ will submit to the authority of the Father. The church will submit to the authority of Christ. And by the agents of the Spirit, the Spirit and the Bride will compel cosmos to come under the authority of the church. This is the agenda of God for the nations. So there is a plot. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is a, a shoot out from the spirit of deception distractions there is no time in the church age where believers have activities everybody say after me activities there are there are there are churches that are organizing programs every day every day every day that's what they read from their books engage the members and they won't leave your church so they read it it was written by a business expert and a consultant It looks popular, but let me tell you the truth. You can criticize me, I'm used to it, but I will tell you. These things look popular. Let me tell you where this spirit came from. Hold on. Do you realize that when the nation of Israel were in captivity in Egypt, hallelujah, when Moses came as a deliverer, what happened? The moment he went to Pharaoh and said, God is already making preparation to get the people out. Pharaoh said, ah, let's use a strategy. He said, give them more work. It is because they are idle that they even have the gods to begin to consider an exodus. Occupy them. And when they had the work, it was too much. They told Moses, they said, forget about this issue of exodus now. Because now they are making us look for straw. Every time Satan sees a people waiting. Do you know how many times the Bible talks about the benefit of waiting? I bring you the counsel of the spirit. There is too much distraction. Activities everywhere. Hallelujah. Now, I'm not saying everybody who is involved in this is false. You get my point? I'm just trying to plot out to you. We think the impact is in the motions. But the Bible says it is they that wait upon the Lord. They shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings. There are many men of God right now who are under pressure pressure to do any and everything just finding activities because they believe that once there is motion who taught us facebook twitter the more you create activities the more people come to your side it is that business strategy we brought to the church because we think the church is facebook so we think when we keep engaging the people it will show that we are increasing. The average believer has no knowledge of the truth of God's word that he can use to stand alone. That's why we depend on pastors. People, I'm not saying spiritual authorities and ministers. No, we, are not, we have a place in the body of Christ. But where you become so dependent, as though if you leave the person, you will die. You are already on the road to deception. And men of God pride themselves. How many sons and daughters, you know, 
When people come to me and talk about submission, I feel like running away because I cannot understand what they are saying. Aaron, my son, ah, me. When you visit the secret place, you will be ashamed of taking some titles. It will take God to force you and say, just for organization. Yeah, this is the pride of people. They fight it. Some men have the F entry to say, this is my earthly father, but he's my spiritual son. Shame on both the man and his revelation. It's a sign of immaturity. We think it is great pride because they clap for you after the statement. Talk is cheap. Distraction. Religious activities where Christ is not the focus. Can I tell you the truth? Look at me. I'm going to tell you a truth you may not hear in many places. Over 70% of the weekly religious activities that are happening in many of the Christian circles are only aimed at increasing the ministry and getting the job going. Christ is less, if at all, a focus in most of these programs. Forget about what we men of God do on stage. We can kneel down and cry and ushers will bring this and will clean book. Imagine holding I'm just trying to show you all the benefits. If you gather 100,000 people non-stop for 100 days do you know how much you will raise is it lucrative or not not to talk of those who will sow into your life by being blessed now i'm not saying every gathering is wrong but i'm telling you many of these gatherings are just a a they don't teach you i'm telling you this they don't share it in congregations. Go, you don't have the opportunity to go for a minister's conference. They will look at you and say, are you a minister? Go out. I am telling you. And people discuss it boldly. But let there be a generation that will not adulterate itself with corruption and error. Many of you will be the only voices some communities will have to hear. The Bible says there is as it were many voices and none of them is without effect. Will you allow your voice to be corrupted? There is a way of getting all of these things. Look at me. While I was preparing to come, I was taking my bath and the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. And I was angry in my spirit about the ways people raise money in church. And then the Lord told me something. He said... Listen, listen. I don't know of any church in the world. I don't know of any auditorium in the world that can seat 2 million people comfortably. I don't know of any. The largest gathering in the world that has happened is 6 million people within a span of 3 days. Only 3 days. They could not manage them. But Moses worked with more than 3 million people for a long time. How did he cater for their need? What system was used? There is no auditorium I know on earth, church auditorium, that is as expensive as the temple of Solomon. How did they do it? Were the people so wealthy like that? Or was there a spiritual principle we are missing out? They had enough. I don't know one church that has stopped members and said this is enough. Except it's just emotional frivolities by the pastor. You say, oh, it's enough. Don't bring more money. But David meant it. He, was, he had enough to start building the temple. What are we missing, church of the Lord Jesus Christ? Distraction. There are many of you, it is when you started getting unnecessarily distracted that your spiritual life started dying. Are you following me now? You started with God. You started celebrating ministrations every day. 
This is how busy my itinerary is. In the morning, I'm here. I don't have time for you. I have one in the evening. Then tomorrow, and you started calling it ministry expansion. Because at the end of it, there is an envelope. You calculate everything. That's somebody's salary. Your money in a week is somebody's salary. And he said, Lord, thank you. You spoke to me that the oil of my life will speak. Be careful because you will not know when you will fall. The Bible says, let he that thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. This is what has killed men of God. Many men of God started on fire, but they became administration, administrators. I try as much as possible, and we try in this ministry to do less of administration. God gave us wisdom to create robust administrative structures so that we can focus on the ministry of the word and prayer. Because let me tell you, some of you are already receiving all kinds of invitations you think that a door is opening means it's god that opened it be careful i pray on every ministration before i honor it i don't care who is bringing it you ask the protocol department and they will tell you because i do not want to be found doing what god has not sent me to do when he sends you he will defend you when you send yourself you will defend yourself Hallelujah. These are unpopular parts. But choose whether to be a celebrity in the eyes of men or to be a voice that men can listen whenever they want to hear the counsel of God. I choose the latter. That I will be a voice. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed? Look at me. Many of you may need to make resolutions this night. Look at me, please. Listen. I want you, as you go back this night, go and edit the things you do with your 24 hours and see how much Satan has choked you with activities that have no eternal relevance. I am telling you the truth. Is that true? Just take out time and in all sincerity through the lens of truth and of the word of God edit your 24 hours and see how many things you do within your 24 hours that actually leads you towards purpose and has an eternal relevance you will understand that this is a this is a strategy from satan to distract us i've taken our time to edit my life Especially in this phase of our lives. Look at me. There are some things that are not necessarily evil, but they are weights at this level of life. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, Hebrews 12 verse 1, it says, Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. They are not necessarily sins, but they are weights. Lamentations 3.27 he said, it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth. Some of you may never be great in life because you are not ready to take the burden now. The strength, the glory of young people is in their strength. Pay the price. Now you have the energy to fast. Some of our parents cannot endure that again. But now you have strength. So take advantage of the strength you have right now. Your mind is still alive and active. Explore. Pay the price. I won't deceive you. You will cry. It will cost you something. But when weeping is done, you will rejoice forever. Let's hurry up. The third plot, Satan, is fraternity with Babylon. Friendship. Friendship with Babylon. The Bible says, love not the world. The word love there is do not develop a lust, a craving. Love not the world or the things that are in this world. The word world there is the word system. Are you listening to me? Some people have religiously said, aha, uh -huh. why are you driving a nice car? Why are you doing this? Why are we buying this? We are wasting money. Please, this is not what the Bible is talking about. This is another religion. It is in category one. You know, the deception thing. No. God is not against your looking good. 
Lazarus with all his poverty is in heaven. Abraham with his wealth is in heaven. It's not because they were rich or poor that they missed heaven or didn't get there. You can have a productive life on earth and have eternal relevance. I choose that option. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? But it says, love not the world or the things that are in this world. It says, whoever loves the world, period, without argument, the love of the Father is not in him. Loss of the eyes, loss of the flesh, pride of life. Some of us have a craving for vanities. When God wants you to sit down and study, you say, ah, there's one car exhibition they are doing somewhere. It's not wrong, but compared to the priority you have, this is vanity. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are people who can be in church like this and the word of God is coming with this kind of fire that the word of God is coming. Check what they are doing. They are trying to respond to their friend. As if the friend is dying. It can't wait. Were you dead before Facebook or, or all of the, the social media? See, some of you cannot even off your phone to pray. It will be as if pain is choking you. Five minutes, just, well, you just run and say, let me check. If nobody has checked, you will send something. You are waiting for who will respond. This is, this is fraternity with Babylon. That's where some of you land on godly attitudes. They wrote poems and jokes that are satanic and anti-progress, anti-greatness. You saw it, read it, absorbed it, and you are using it. See how your life started nose diving. Many people got into satanic relationships. Men of God online. Now, I know that these things have been used very well. There, is, there are demonic sites that men of God have gone to. Demonic sites. All searching for solutions. Huh? Zodiac. Huh? Zodiac sites. You know them. You are pretending as if you don't know them. All of these sites. Click and see who your life partner is. Or click and see how long you have to live. They say you are dying next week. He say, I'm coming for Koinonia. <laughs> Who asked you to go and click it? You put your date of birth, everything, the name of your intending spouse, he brought out your life. He said you have suffering and death afterwards. <sighs> you just say, I want to see you. Some things have been going on in my life. What is it? You carried your hands and you went and tied yourself. fraternity longer throat has taken some people they've gone to places where they shouldn't go said yes to things and people they should not say yes to he who does not have control over his spirit is like a city without walls I refuse I refuse to fraternize with Babylon not her methods, not her way of life. Because the Bible says, Babylon the great is falling. He said, her and all the kings of the earth that have benefited in her merchandise. He said, this great harlot, Babylon, in one hour, her glory has been turned to shame. It will be sudden. And the Bible tells us, come out of her. Come out of her. God is speaking to somebody tonight. Come out of her. Go and re-edit your life. Re-edit your life. There are some of you ladies here. You can have 10 to 20 boyfriends. From the film you watch, they said that's how to be a correct girl. Rich, poor, average, in case anyone that works. You hear a message like this now and think we're just sweating and talking nonsense. And you will be hardened. And if they ask, they say, what kind of man do you want to marry? You say, I want him to be serious with God. He must be a disciplined man. Is it a fair combination? Look at the way your life is.
Everybody say after me, I will stand out. I hope as you are laughing, the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. Deception. Destruction. Fraternity with Babylon. Let me tell you the agenda of God now. We cannot just talk about the things that the devil is doing. What is God doing? The Bible says the sons of Issachar, they had an understanding of the times and they knew what to do. The spirit and the bride say come. Let me tell you what is happening in the body of Christ right now. Look at me. The Bible says, before the day of the Lord, please listen. It tells us that something is going to happen. What will happen? It said, Elijah shall come again before the day of the Lord. Why will Elijah come? What does Elijah represent? The transfiguration of Jesus Christ. When Jesus was transfigured, two people stood by his left and right. Is that correct? One was Elijah. The other was Moses representing the law and the prophet. Notice that all the people that represent major spiritual truths that should not be aborted, though they died, but their body did not touch this earth. Because their, their representation is an adumbration. Are you listening to me? If Moses' body dies and is buried in the earth and this is i'm going to say something that will create a lot of controversy right now moses represents the law this is a very shocking thing it's against what has been preached but did you notice that against our popular messages moses his body is not in the earth elijah represents the prophet the prophetic has not finished so elijah did not touch the earth. I won't say more than that. Sila, let he that has an ear hear what the Spirit say to the churches. Popular but wrong. Hmm. Let's continue. The Bible says Elijah will come, Malachi. It says, before the great day of the Lord. Listen, every time Jesus is about to appear, whether Jesus as a person or his prophetic agenda, Elijah always foreruns him. Are you following me now? Before Elijah came in the New Testament, before Jesus came, what happened? John the Baptist came where? In the spirit of Elijah. The spirit of prophecy. And the Bible says, before Jesus will come again, there will be a manifestation of Elijah. So don't be surprised if you see a manifestation of prophets. But let me tell you where the problem is wrong. Elijah is not manifesting as a miracle worker. Elijah is manifesting to bring accurate knowledge of the understanding of the truth. To prepare the church for the coming of Christ. Are you getting that? If you understand this, you can test prophecy at once. Because see, the clearest proof that a man is a prophet is not miracles and all of this. The clearest proof is that you can bring to us an accurate understanding of scripture. This is what tells us that you are in connection with the throne room. It said by their fruits. Their fruits is not character. Character can be deceptive. Their fruit is their message. Right now, many people believe if your pastor is a prophet, I apologize. I'm not, I'm not against. I have people that are prophets. I know they are of God. We, we, we have times dedicated. We live in the miraculous here. But I'm telling you, listen to me. The primary function of prophets in this day is not to check how much you have in your account and say, promise, stand up. 331 302 Eight seven nine one one ten. That's my account number. <laughs> you see that? 
And you say, Jesus. Now, that's the manifestation of the gift. But if that is all we think prophecy is about, that's not the true portrait of the spirit of Elijah. The spirit of Elijah first comes, the first assignment is to correct errors by the accurate understanding. This is what we call epignosis. Epignosis is not just a Greek terminology to write books and sell. Uh -uh. Epignosis means the accurate understanding of truth. And this one is by revelation. There is no school that will teach it. The spirit of God will overshadow a man and bet something. Mary said, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. He said, the power of the highest will overshadow you. There are men who God is overshadowing right now. God is mantling, closing them like a coven and birthing dangerous dimensions of spiritual truth. That's the spirit of Elijah. When I talk of the spirit of prophecy, I'm not necessarily talking of the office of a prophet alone. Correcting a lot of things. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith? Will he find men who will be able to align and adjust to the corrections of the truth? Are you receiving something? when listen to me listen to me before the rebuilding of Zion there will first be a breaking down a tearing down are you listening to me then there will be a reconstruction of the house of God not by the patterns of men hallelujah are you listening to me the sacrifice of Cain and Abel is a type of the old and the new church it's a prophetic adumbration what happened because Cain is the elder brother he believed that he understood the rudiments of giving that kind of sacrifice and the Bible says he wanted to sacrifice and do something for God but his combinations were wrong where they received and then his brother Abel, which is a type of the new church, came and put that sacrifice according to pattern. So God is revealing divine patterns on how to do spiritual things such that they become acceptable sacrifices. And this will cause the way we run ministry as we know to change for many ministries. Happy are ministries that can align and take the pain and, and forget about the ego and allow it to happen. But for those who will not change, mene, mene, tekel, ufesen. You have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting. Hallelujah. So the first thing that God is doing right now is correcting errors let me tell you don't confuse this this is what is happening in the body of christ god is raising prophetic and apostolic voices who are coming after the order of elijah with the spirit of prophecy which is the testimony of jesus christ their focus and everything they do by votes and leads people directly to the christ of god and they will come with grace they will deliver mysteries that are uncommon. The fact that these mysteries are uncommon does not mean it is not of God. It will be resisted, but that which is born of God always overcomes. So eventually, light will surpass darkness. It will be strange. When Jesus came, bringing the gospel of the kingdom, the Bible says, the people say, from whence cometh this man? He speaks as one with authority and not as the scribes. The Bible says, when they saw the miracles and the things he did, they said, we have never seen it in this fashion. That means there is a fashion that is coming. And that's why God is preparing you. That you are hearing this message tonight, I want you to know that you are part of the agenda of God. Are you listening to me? That you are hearing this message, whether inside or outside. That you are hearing this message and for as many around this country and the world who will hear this message and those who are streaming online
telling you that there is an agenda. And for you to be hearing this message, you are part of it. Just as God is using me, there are many prophetic voices scattered around the world. Not many, as it were. But many in that they are within reach. That God is raising. The message is the same. The expressions must be different. Because we are different. But the passion and the communications of the spirit is the same. Preparing the bride. It is the spirit and the bride that will ask this word to come. Can you just pray in tongues as you're seated in one minute? Yes, Lord, we hear your voice. We hearken unto the voice of the Spirit. And we understand the handwritings that you are writing on the wall. You must open your heart. Some of the things I've shared have challenged some of you. Search the scriptures. And you will find that the word of God is consistent. Come on, just, just express your spirit in, in one or two minutes. The remnant of the house of Jacob. The uncompromising generation kept under the custody of Obadiah 7,000 who have refused to bow to Baal. Yeah, 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 Come on, ventilate your spirit. Just let it find expression. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just one minute, I will continue. Outside, make sure you are stretching. We hear the sounds of the spirit. Ascend to the hill of the Lord. We press higher in the spirit. Shema patala maniketaya. Shema niana maskaniana. It may cost us now, but we will pay the price. We will soar to the spirit. We will labor in knowledge, uncompromising. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shabbat 
and terrible day the spirit of Elijah will be poured upon the body of Christ and now is that time in the prophetic blueprint of the spirit where those who are interested Elijah worshippers Elijah preachers Elijah businessmen Elijah workers Elijah politicians, men crafted, forged out of the furnace of affliction with scars that represent their dealings in the spirit. Men who have endured pain, men who have endured tears, men who have died to themselves and their agendas. Elijah's in the military, Elijah's in business. It's the spirit of prophecy that will testify only of Christ and of his agenda. Listen. When the spirit of Elijah comes, the spirit of Elijah will tear down walls. The spirit of Elijah will first be destructive and then constructive. It will break down patterns that have been built after Babel. For there is a rebuilding of the tower of Babel. But the spirit of Elijah is an audacious spirit is a prophetic and apostolic spirit of prophecy that comes to correct the errors of the fathers to correct the errors and they shall be called the repairers of the bridge they shall rebuild the walls and raise the desolations of all generations they shall be called the repairers of the bridge the repairers of the bridge they will fix that which was spoiled. They will fix that which has been popular, yet not in synchrony, not in tandem with the workings of the spirit. They will have ears that are sharp. They will have eyes with the visions of an eagle. And they will be able to decipher the writings on the wall. They will hearken to the voice of his majesty and will only build the house according to divine pattern. 
they will introduce a fire that will burn everything and test everything it will be a refiner's fire they will come after the order of elijah that the word of god from their mouth will be like fire it will burn it will reshape it will construct partake about attire there will be men of power men of force men of grace men of dexterity audacity they will have power in the heavens it is during that time that the sun will be turned into blood and there will be signs in the earth there will be wonders because the manifestation of this man i bring to you body of christ blow the trumpet i come with an apostolic mantle sound the alarm sound the alarm the seasons are changing there is a renaissance a rebirth of the elijah church correcting the errors of the fathers men of authentic power men of grace men of revelation and insight that have not been taught by any man comparing spiritual things with spiritual that is only taught by the agency of the holy ghost but take a retire those who have searched and understood where the secret place of the most high is they have found it they've come there and they will abide under the shadow of the almighty take us to that place let there be a burden of the elijah church let there be a burden of the elijah church in abuja in lagos in zaria in portacot all over nigeria let there be a button we blow the shofar we authorize heaven elijah's arise elijah's arise elijah businessmen arise elijah preachers arise elijah worshipers arise with the spirit of prophecy which will only testify of no denomination of no sect but the christ of god kingdoms will rise against kingdoms doctrines will rise against doctrines nations will rise against nations there will be a clash of light and darkness and the church of the lord built upon the rock shall stand tried by fire men who have been battered from the furnace of pain and affliction with no agenda of their own whatsoever This is a message from the Lord to the body of Christ. The spirit of Elijah cometh. The spirit of prophecy. There will be a restoration of the accurate interpretation of the truth of the word. Accurate. Accurate. Given by the Holy Ghost, the one who inspired it, accurate interpretation of scriptures.
Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. The Lord told me that what will begin to happen is an exposition of darkness. You will hear things on media that will shock you. Darkness will be exposed. The veils that have covered the eyes of men for years will be exposed. Mene, mene, tekel, ufasen. I sound it and I prophesied as I was commanded. Mene, mene, tekel, ufasen. The altars of Baal. Judgment is coming upon the body of Christ. And there will be a smashing down. For many have been weighed in a balance. And they have been found wanting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After the destruction of the altars of Baal, the next will be a fresh walk upon the saints, preparing them for the last apostolic revival that will be coming upon the earth. That will be the next mission of the spirit of Elijah. First to tear down walls, to correct error, and then to begin to rebuild the saints. There will be a restoration of the true apostolic, the true prophetic, the true evangelistic, the true pastoral and teacher offices. Then once again, men will begin to call upon the name of the God that will not be strange unto them. Men will begin to call upon the God that they know and have a working relationship with. And I tell you friends, when that begins to happen, it will announce the greatest reviver. Smith Wigglesworth prophesied it. The generals of old prophesied it. I announce to you, there is coming a reviver. Everything that will be shaken will be shaken. The newspapers will no longer carry stories of politicians. The captions will be the fire of the spirit. Our media, we will not need to pay to go on air. The impact will be so great. It will make news. The fire will fall in nations you did not expect and then after that the heavens will be open and once again we will see him the king of kings the lord of lords the alpha and the omega he will come gloriously upon the silvery cloud and his feet will not touch the earth and the victorious church now without spot or wrinkle will be caught up and we will meet with him and it will begin another dispensation and then the spirit and the pride we say come lord come lord yes to your agenda yes to your agenda yes to your agenda we make way for the coming of the lord jesus we make way for the revival Jesus is coming. Preachers, don't preach it again. I'm telling you, Jesus is coming with the blast of the archangel. He will come for a victorious church. His coming is soon. That's why the spirit of Elijah is released upon the body. Jesus is coming this same Jesus whom you have seen go to heaven will return in the exact same manner I bring you a message Jesus Christ is returning to
to planet earth Jesus Christ is returning it will happen it's not a myth it's not a legend a day will come there will be no more business there will be no more APU an agenda bigger than it will unfold we are at the ending periods let him that has an ear share and give priority to the agenda of the spirit every other thing will become temporal but only one agenda will stand hallelujah hallelujah brothers and sisters hear me this is what God is doing right now right now if you've ever tried to find out where the church is in prophecy this is what God is doing right now any church any man of God you find with the spirit of Elijah tearing down the walls of Baal and building people is a true church this is how you will know them that are of God and them that are not of God and all the sorcerers and magicians and the soothsayers and the necromancers that appear they will fall together with Babylon I give you glory Lord hallelujah please let me pray for the family that came from Kogi please come tonight's message is a message to the body of Christ you're welcome sir you're welcome sir you're welcome ma you're welcome my dear welcome can you appreciate them hallelujah I want to announce to you that you are come to Mount Zion. The Spirit of God is in this place. There's no jamboree or magic. Christ is Lord here. The Lord will bring deliverance to your family. The oppression of 36 years will end. Can I pray for you? to pray for you hallelujah the Lord is showing me something about you sir it's a miracle that you are not yet dead based on the things that I'm seeing because death tried you two times this is what God is telling me yes is that true they will go to inside church to collapse and the Lord is telling me to tell you that death tried him two times is the grace of God that has kept you you see and and you do nothing huh i'm seeing a bag with holes inside everything you get leaves no, i don't i don't feel it again. it's all right it's all right please please don't cry please help her with the handkerchief please somebody this is a mother for god's sake please please you can see how wicked satan is and rather than we men of god contending to bring solutions for people we are looking for names for ourselves all of you will experience the hand of God. Let me tell you, things will change. You will know you met God tonight. We are his ambassadors. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Who is there? Are you sisters? That's what I'm saying. Don't, don't worry. Don't tell me. Let me talk. Hmm? Because I need to there is, there is, there, this one is a curse. Huh? Sister, there is a curse. Any man that comes around you will just play around with your heart and pack his load and go. This is what has been happening. A very beautiful girl. Huh? But the Lord will set you free. Okay? And you, I'm going to pray for you. Because the face I'm seeing physically is not what I'm seeing in the spirit. Sir, 
God showed me, but I didn't talk to you. You are tied with snakes. This is what I'm seeing from your feet to your head. This is what makes him to collapse. It's as if you cannot move your legs. Yes, yes. Is that true? It, I'm seeing, but God will set you free. Yes. Madam, please don't cry. Please, for God's sake. It's okay. Hope comes to your family. This is not everybody. Bring their pictures. You brought some pictures. Go and bring it. Did you discuss this with me? Did you discuss this with me? Did you tell me you are coming with pictures? The Lord who sees these things will solve your problems. Who is this? Where is he? It's not you. The devil put the spirit of hatred between you and him. Even the little resources to send and help you is not doing it. It's not a bad person. This is demonic. Before, where, where? If you no see me, where is that to money? But in now, three months, you no send anything. No tell me anything. So let hope, let it rise. For darkness trembles in your holy land. Sing it one more time for this family. Listen, when I pray for you, things will change overnight. Did you hear what I said? Things will change overnight. Sir, this oppression will leave you right now. I set you free right now. Sheba Katalabos. The heat you're feeling is the power of God. Now, devil of death, leave him. I curse you right now. Take your hands off him. I restore to you everything you have lost. Hell. Hell. Sir. Command financial restoration, restoration of everything you have lost in the name of Jesus. It's written in God's word, blotting out every handwriting. I enforce that which has been finished from redemption, and I declare that you will walk in victory in the name of Jesus. I need to pray for you. Don't worry. Stay. That devil of darkness, leave this woman right now. You are leaving. I curse it. You are the spirit of delay. You are the spirit of death. See, something is coming out from you. Out. Out of this woman right now. I reconcile you with all your loved ones. May they begin to call you and bless you. Let your business flourish. I hold your hands and I give you the keys of blessings as an ambassador of the Most High. Let your times of tears end forever. You will live long. Any curse on you be set free right now. 
There's a curse on you. Let the curse be taken. Let the curse go by the blood of Jesus. See, there is a demon. Leave her, leave her. See, this is it. Out! 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 Come out of her right now. Come out of her. This is the spirit responsible for this predicament. Out! Come out of her right now. Don't. Your mother is not a witch. Are you hearing me? Please, please don't let people. This is this is just deliverance. God is doing for her. Come out! You are a foul spirit. Out of this woman right now. Out! Out! This curse of darkness. Come out of her. Stand up, madam. You are free. Stand up. God bless you. Don't cry, please. Don't cry, please. Where's that handkerchief helper? Look, madam, wait. Let me explain. Don't be embarrassed, please. Don't be embarrassed. All right? Please. Don't let anybody go on. You are not a witch. Please. Do you understand? What happens is that demons can influence people. These are curses and wickedness of the devil. So this manifestation is just a spirit living. You are free now. What you need is to build yourself with the word of God. My dear, let me pray for you. Because the Lord, you were the one that God used as a savior. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Let this girl go around. Let her go free right now. I curse you. Out! Come out! Out of her right now. I set you free. I set you free. I open up every door that has been closed. Return no more in Jesus' name. What's your name? I'm going to pray for you. You will get married. Huh? Do you believe that? So let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of delay, you're of the devil. Let this girl go. I set you free right now. forth your life partner into your life right now without confusion without ambiguity they will come and testify in the name of Jesus please hold your hands together Holy Spirit I command salvation for this family right now both those that are here and everyone represented in this picture by faith I command every door that has been closed, let it be open right now. In the name of Jesus. I pray that you will have passion for the word of God. Because that's the ultimate security. And I pray, the name of the Lord that is a strong tower, let that name shield you. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, we put a mark over you. Whatever has left you will not return. Go and return with your testimonies. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Take over. Take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over. Take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over.
look over I have come to the end of myself Take over, take over I have touched the end of myself Hallelujah, hallelujah I have come to the end of myself Hallelujah your voice and begin to pray say lord i need help mention the areas you need his help if you don't need any help pray for koinonia pray for the ministry lord i need help pray i need help in my marriage pray i need help in my finances I need help in my academics. I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Lord, I know it is within your power to help me. I ask for your help. Let your power address my case tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know. Oh, it is within your power to give me a husband. It is within your power to give me a wife. It is within your power to cause my business to flourish it is within your power to bring restoration it is within your power to give me a child it is within your power to cure HIV it is within your power to deliver me Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace. I just showed you your contribution to your failure. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I take responsibility and I receive grace to make the adjustments. There's nothing embarrassing about it. From all that I've said, you know the area that affects you. Say, Lord, I take responsibility. The part you cannot do for yourself, you will do. But the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, we take responsibility in the name of Jesus. We receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive grace. 
by the truths that we know we receive grace to be convicted hallelujah hallelujah shortly we are going to begin ministering we'll be very fast today i want to see how we can close on time so we're going straight to the point hallelujah we'll try to do everything very very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible hallelujah you're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself are you ready now please i want you to speak it these are instructions from god i know you have been praying in your secret place it's not the same thing you are doing now open your mouth and prophesy everything god will do for you lift your voice and pray i walk out of here healed tonight come on now ss you must leave me tonight as you must leave me tonight confusion must end in my life tonight that idea that i need for my business that idea that i need for promotion that restoration i refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration that mantle that renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word apara koto pasikete bela de bos raga pakata pras kaparata balada ba segere bere 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 de bos oh yes 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 pray pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life, pray that you must be delivered this night. Every spirit tying your family, every spirit tying your progress, pray. Enough is enough. He must live my life. Lord, I must be delivered today. Hallelujah. 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 In recent time, I have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance i have seen this all my life but i have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time. There are people standing outside just staring at others. Forget about them and be focused. You know what you are going through. Miracle service is not, it's not a marriage ceremony. It's not an album dedication. You don't come and just watch and smile. You come with anger in your heart and say, Lord, I, I won't go back that way. Who told you SS cannot be healed? Who told you AS cannot change? Who told you the, the biological problem cannot go? Who told you you cannot get breakthrough? Lord Jesus, we thank you. We release this atmosphere to you and your power. Lord, I know that you will do amazing things even in this place. We trust you for a quick walk. There are lives, there are destinies that need to be changed. Lord, there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives let not one of them escape the power of the holy spirit there are sick bodies that need to be healed oh god let not one of them escape the healing power of god 
there are families that have come with burdens lord i pray your people have come with prayer requests impossible situations but they believe in you so lord we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah now while the ministration continues please if you have not written your prayer requests make sure that you write them it's important it's not a religious formality it's a revelation that god gave us hallelujah during the dinner those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers. So in one minute, just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start, please, if you are yet to write, let's just give them an opportunity. Please help one another with um, papers. You can feel free to put on your phone, contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer request if it's possible. There are many who have sent their own hundreds online. hallelujah praise the lord please make sure you write everything write everything you are trusting god to do in your life
Hallelujah. 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 It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look at this lady and I see a spirit, a very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? I need to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw, and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. You can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want to do. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Not, not Pastor Femi. Femi. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one. From where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes, sir. You came from Jigawa State. Yes, sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire and yes, take sir. you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought you came to receive. I'll call you several times. Sir. Eh? I'll call your number several times. No, you <laughs> You will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Yes. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria. Victoria. I hear a name Victoria. This is Victoria. Let me just respond to you. Victoria. Victoria. There is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype. Genotype. You're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, S, S, A, S, anyone like that. This is a Victoria I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate. Come. 
we have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage look at me we have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage huh? because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest you understand this is this is the devil is not going to lord it over you we are going to pray please I want you to believe I don't have to call your case I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me and then we'll just get into prayer praise the Lord hallelujah father visit this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ where is your mother who is sick who is sick in your family my mom because I'm seeing that ah we have to pray I have we have to pray hmm? this is December your mother will just sleep and they will tell you I'm not a prophet of doom they will tell you that she's dead she has been talking about death we have to rebuke this thing she has been seeing dead people in her dream she sleeps and she sees dead people and they will be stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them some of them are people who have died before see there are families here with those things but we are going to deal with it praise the Lord father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for this family that spirit of death over the family in the name of Jesus we roll it away we roll it away by the power of the Holy Spirit and for you I curse this spirit that is in you in the name of Jesus when the time for deliverance comes the Lord is going to set you free completely in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you your hands are blessed listen your hands are blessed God expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself your hands are blessed the Lord is saying I should tell you that these hands are blessed hands are you getting what I'm saying you have to pray and trust God for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and he will bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things God is giving you number one God is giving you wisdom number two God is giving you stability huh I see you but I see like a wind you are here and there God needs to give you stability father you will give him stability in the name of Jesus come my dear I pray for you you will marry a foolish man say amen I curse every spirit delaying her marriage now in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke that spirit come um, I have to pray for you hold my hands Lord she must be free today today is her day of liberty in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke this spirit you must leave her I see you in the spirit out of her right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my dear do you love Jesus very well huh? please he wants you to take him very seriously okay? where are you from my dear Benway State is who is here with you your brother where is he Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start. What's his name? Benway State. Huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? Okay. I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying, but as the days unfold, you will see God honor you. Father, let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Shabra Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands.
I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. It's the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences. You see, sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of, of, of bondage. But then you will need the grace of God. You will need the wisdom of God. You will need His grace to give you direction. And I'm going to pray for you right now. My goodness, the power of God is strong in this place. So many people inside and outside. It will surprise some of you because you do not even know. Now listen, this deliverance is not just for individuals. In fact, God is going to start with families. That's what I see God doing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You've heard this happen again and again. I don't know why God does this. But a lady is going to shout under the anointing. And this is what will introduce that grace. A loud shout by the Spirit of the living God. Lift your hands. Father, thank you for your power and your presence in this place. Right now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I want everyone to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart. I challenge every spirit. I challenge every voice and every altar, oh God, that has kept your people bound, that has kept families bound. There's no place for escape for you tonight. Lord, I pray that in a mighty way, as your people begin to shout, you visit them. My goodness, the power of God is already coming on people. At the count of three, one, two, get ready now. Get ready. Three. Fire upon you right now. Deliverance fire in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Help them, please. Help those people right now in the name of Jesus inside and outside I release the power of the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Spirit right now right now right now right now right now I see the power of God along this region right here where the ministers are staying I see the power of God right now I cast that spirit I challenge every power every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of Jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus there are people who are tied to covenants I hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of God will begin to set people free are you ready now at the count of three one two three in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ we release deliverance outside we release mighty deliverance now lift your hands you don't have to shout just keep it lifted hallelujah i'm going to begin to speak and prophesy and for all those who are affected the power of god will begin to touch them bring them out here in the name of jesus lift your hands now i pray every family here under any spell every family lord where are they right now let the power of god touch them touch them now 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 right now in the congregation every family under any kind of spell I bring deliverance right now I bring deliverance right now in the mighty name of Jesus I bring deliverance help that lady I bring deliverance right now right now keep your hands lifted right now father identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted i'm going to pray i see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit 
Now that fire, listen. That fire is going to come upon individuals. I'm hearing stagnation. That's what I'm hearing. Please keep your hands lifted inside and outside. Lord, wherever those people are, get set right now as I speak. The fire will burst and begin to touch people. Stagnation. Wherever they are, shake it, it, it Begin to touch them right now by that fire. Receive it right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. All over the building. In the name of Jesus Christ. That spirit of stagnation that has been responsible. I see some people being touched outside. I see people being touched outside. Hallelujah. This row, lift your hands. Just this row. Lift your hands. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you. The moment I stretch my hands, the power of God will move in dramatic ways. And I'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough. That's what is coming. Please make sure you believe. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. It will be a mighty move of the spirit. Lord, I do as you have instructed. And at the count of three, let there be breakthroughs. One, two, three. Help them, please. We command it in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every force that has tied down my life, you must leave me right now. Pray. As some of you are praying, the power of God will be touching you. Every spirit that is responsible. Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, only the ladies. I want to pray for you. Only the ladies. A woman represents a gate in the spirit. And there are many ladies whose gates are tied and closed. But the Bible says to open up the two leaf gates. It will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now. Please keep your hands lifted. Father, I pray in a mighty way. Let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three, as they shout Jesus, let those gates be open. Get set now, ladies. One, two, three. Open now. Open now. Open now. Shake it, take it up. My goodness, I see padlocks opening. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Open up those gates in the name of Jesus. Open up those gates. Open up those gates now. Open up those gates now. Open up those gates now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Lift your voice and violently pray in one minute. And command that spirit to leave you. Go ahead and pray please. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You must leave my family. Just keep praying. It's a new season by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who came with this woman? 
I'm seeing a spirit tying this woman. Watch this. Who came with mama? Out of her. Hold my hands, mama. Listen. She can't walk. Hold on. Mommy, this woman cannot walk well. You see this? Who? Don't worry. Mom. Stroke. Look at this. How many of you believe God can do a miracle for this woman? I command the spirit right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of Jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of Jesus I command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give jesus praise give jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah mama this mama come your time of breakthrough has come hold on look at what's wrong with you my leg cannot open your leg cannot this open leg, uh, this leg uh, how long 20, 20 years 20 how many years I, it's who knows her years. you know you are their son come now you come and stand close to your mother how many years more than 20 years where are you from we are from sabongari mama you believe jesus will touch yes, you yes sir i tell you there is nothing jesus cannot do yes, there is sir. the anointing you believe it yes sir say jesus jesus heal me heal me say jesus jesus heal me heal me father you died for this reason right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now look at what is happening to her in the name of Jesus mama hold my hands walk come 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 try to climb now lift your leg try to lift it it didn't used to open before oh I see okay okay go ahead in the name of Jesus Christ lift it and do what you could not do just do it do it open the other one in the name of Jesus God is already giving you a miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit can you see a miracle happening she could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of Jesus Christ look at look at this God is giving this woman a eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes I cannot stand for five minutes but right now God is touching you your back will be paining you in the name of Jesus Christ, this perfection has started. That backache, I lay my hands and I release the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, just keep under the anointing. She will stand up and check herself. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another mother. I don't know why God is visiting our mothers right now. I'm seeing, Mama, please come. Can I talk to you, Ma? Somebody help that woman. Please, don't, if we talk to you, speak whatever language you can speak. There will always be somebody to interpret it. It doesn't have to be that you must speak English. Who's, whose mother is this? Eh? Well done, mommy. What's, what's the issue? What brought her here? She has been complaining of different illness. Mama, what's wrong with you? I got BP. I got BP. This 20 day, my blood, they move like this. As I'm looking at our mother, Mama, 
as I look at you, I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach. That thing starts moving. Is that? And then it comes towards your chest area. Uh, then sometimes you feel pain at your back here. Yes, sir. That mm -hmm. devil will leave you right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus? I'm going to pray that God will use this lady. Because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her. You. What's your name? Faith. Faith. Yes, sir. You will be a woman of faith. You believe that? Let me pray for you. Father, anoint this lady. Let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will use you mightily. Mama, let's pray for you. Lay your hands on your chest, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is healing you right now. High blood pressure, high blood pressure and every other sickness, I rebuke it right now. And I command the spirit that oppresses you to live. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. If you know you are involved in anything, whether maybe you have a shop, you are in business, and nothing is working, just lift your hands. I want to pray for those people right now. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Please believe. Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, Paul, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. Downwards. What? You can walk. It's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't see it for long. Unless I lie down, I can't stand for long. Okay, Mama, just clear the way. Let Mama, you are her son, you are welcome. Let her just sit down there. We will soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to, listen, listen. We are going to pray. We will invite people to come out now. We are, I'm going to pray for the sick. I will lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. Um, but why, why is she? My problem is one year. I'm eating in the dream. You are eating in the dream? Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year, non stop? Last month, on today's 15 days, my stomach, my back, in the pain. I know we sleep. I know we eat. Uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never ask for one. We pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no, our mothers, don't worry. When we start praying for the sick, this is what we'll do. We may give room so that we start with some of our elderly ones so that they can go back. They may not have that strength. Will that be fine? So as you line up, if you see any elderly man or woman, you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But lift your hands now. I want to release breakthrough. I mean, I, I mentioned the case right now. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him I will sing to him a new song I will praise him I will sing to him a new song and I will praise him I will sing to him a new song I will praise him I will sing to him a new song And I will praise him I will sing to him a new song Every force Kabbalah Tabarada Keep your hands lifted That has tied down your business All the works of your hands Some of you will feel fire on your hand Literal fire It will start burning on your hands right now 
in the name that is above all names i pray as that fire comes on your hand ideas begin to come to you receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus it's already happening to people right now it's happening to people the fire is coming on people help this brother please the fire is coming on people right now your hands ideas ideas this fire represents ideas receive it right now receive it right now in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord now as we pray for the sick i know there are many people here who are sick please be orderly as you come while that is happening every prayer request please pass it over to the ushers you have your prayer request you can use the time to call some of your loved ones by the way when we begin to prophesy for some of you who have your loved ones at home you can put on the phone and connect with them honestly if they have the faith to receive and they believe they'll be surprised at what happens to them you are trusting god for a healing miracle make your way to the front now and begin to pray there is a god that heals here yeah. yes mama please don't cry can you get a handkerchief please help our mother with this handkerchief please make your way to the front it's called a miracle service look how many people are trusting God for healing forward all the elderly ones to the front please all our elderly ones Looked around and I realized That you've been so good to me standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say father please who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more Source of my strength, now you, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence, now you, the other source of my life, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence. show you look at this oh my god put the camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary who is her mother this is her mother crying who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring the... Oh, she went to bring Matt. They brought the girl on a... What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have been not... They have not able to be... No diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Oh, 
Okay, let's let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabuda Suki Hausa? We, we will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she speak her language. Um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh -huh. One of the two um, cancer. Cancer? Uh -huh. Eight. Eight? Uh -huh. Cancer, the eight took her. And, uh, Basr. Basr. What's that? Uh -huh. Pile, cancer, HIV. Uh -huh. Look at this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell her she brought she brought her expecting. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Jesus oh, Kina. Can I also so say? Kede in Ali. Kasuna. Kede in Kasina she never hear also. But is that not your language? <laughs> Mama Kerki Damu, we are going to pray for her now. Oh, we are going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Can I how old is she? Help her. She, she. You would think this girl is, is 10 years. She's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married. With two children. Oh my God. Huh? Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV, at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, now you. Hey, my confidence, now you. Source of my life, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, My dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ. I command that spirit of infirmity, that devil of HIV, that devil of cancer, I command him to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ. I will ask you people to help her get up eventually. My dear, look at me. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead try to move your hands or your leg if you can do you have enough strength for that can she hear me she's so weak she can't even hear me it's well just leave her to lie down with the glory as i pray for other people i mean she's so weak she cannot even hear me God, the devil is wicked listen i assure you that whatever it is What's that? Okay, the request. Don't worry. We'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and we'll try to lift her up and see what happens. Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me, but it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. Mama, look at me. Come, please. What's wrong with her? 
I brought my check. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since uh, where would they for Abuja? Now, in the bubble, where the bomb will blow. So, what? I'm, I'm selling something for Nyanya. Uh, I'm selling food with you. Where bomb will blow for that side? Bomb? Uh, oh, uh, bomb blast? Yes, and now fall down. I, know, I cannot get out. They're telling me to go to hospital. Oh, the bomb hospital. blast that happened in Nyanya? Yes. So, it affected you? Eh. Uh, so I can't get up. They carry me go hospital. So, uh, I spent four months. Go no go. They carry me go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. Go no they, go. they carried you go where? Uh, flying man. May go treat me. Say oh. hospital no fit you. A doctor? Oh, herbalist. Eh. Uh, okay. Flani man. It's okay. The flying man collected fifty thousand. You know I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen. Let me let me press it down. Any man, I don't care who. Who tells you to bring money to get a miracle even if it's me run away are you hearing what i'm saying mama our mothers i'm begging you in the name of jesus christ any man any priest any prophet any pastor any apostle any human being herbalist whoever that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle tell him joshua selman said he's a thief he's not a man of god are we together and now we start the cure the thief the if you give me medicine, I drink, I will bring back bad dream in the night. So, tell like that, four months, you go and no go. The man now time to bring 30,000 again. I said, I know I will see food. That should bring 30,000 again. Uh, I know see food to to my children again now. And I'll start the bed, the man, no grief. That man, me, I'm going to leave my room before. We'll Mommy, for some what, what? Now, I can't save, I can't save my room here. Come and say, come and I work out for prayer to prayer. But uh, they hear prayer for you. When they say, Make I come, me, I, know they, I, I know they come. I'll just lie down. They feel pain every time. Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia? On your way going, they just change their mind. It's not them. There is a spirit. I tell you that you make your way here alone is a sign that God is ready to visit you. What, what, what exactly? I must enter today. I must enter as I just uh, come out for road. The machine just come. You say, Where are the grass and at this church? He says, Oh, make a go, make a go in Opa. Welcome the Osha people. Say, Where they go, they go to my I say, I know if you These people can serve God, then they carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God carry bless our hand. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish. They come, they advise me, say, make no hurry to enter. So, and now, when they start the play, I enter through gate. That I just stand up with my, with my Now, this is the they stand, because all this side, you know. And now, so, please stand up. Uh, stand. God, come give me, I come the strength. strength my power. What, what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Yeah, I go, so. Oh, your, oh, I see. Father. It's, it's okay, madam. Ma Mama, uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now. Eh? In Jesus' name, we'll pray for you. If she couldn't walk, oh, there is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil, leave her. You think it's bomb blast. But, oh, she could not walk. Oh. They had to carry her. And now she's even standing. That's even a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Hold my hands. I minister strength to you. Look at me. Come. Come. Help her. In the name of Jesus. Walk. I will hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. You can see that it's happening gradually. Gradually. These hands were paralyzed. Madam, look at me. Try to lift it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Look at this. Lift it. Lift it. Drop it down. Lift it again. Lift it again. Completely paralyzed. Completely paralyzed. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A miracle is happening. Do what you couldn't do. The devil is a liar. 
the more you take that step of faith the more you see god stepping in father this miracle is perfected in our body in the name of jesus christ god bless you just keep exercising her we we'll have to pray please any special case who we'll minister at our time is gone i saw the spirit of death she was supposed to die in that bomb blast i didn't even know it was nyanya bomb blast that Boko Haram bomb blast may you never be a victim of any man's wickedness in the name of jesus christ the moment i pray for you please as you return back check yourself and do what you couldn't do before if it's a striking striking testimony we'll just take it here worship team lead us through sessions of worship as we pray in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus short of blood i look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what leaks your blood this is what i'm seeing this is demonic you understand what i'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and i need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death in the name of jesus christ i command that spirit that devil of darkness to leave Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we stretch your hands at this baby and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus you will have a child make sure you are praying one month two weeks a hole in his heart if God does not step in this baby will either die or something will happen I tell you we are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ we can agree father we reject this we reject this as you are rejecting it for this child so it will be in your life reject it lord your church is praying we change this report 
baby will speak to you baby you will not die you will not die you will not die we close this hole hallelujah go and check him don't cry don't cry eh? you are not going to lose your baby in the name of Jesus Christ amen we are going to pray it's going to be very very fast as I lay my hands on you just it's just a touch there is a reason why I'm doing this myself and I lay hands on you just a touch the Lord is wiping your tears the Lord is wiping your tears and not just because you are crying physically this woman is coming with so much pains the Lord is wiping your tears now in the name of Jesus out of her that demon that causes pain in the name of Jesus Christ
submit a prayer request ushers you can begin to bring the prayer request forward please everybody inside and outside make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough so please forward the prayer request if you still have yours just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly please guys let's do this very fast so that we can finish as hands are being laid on you I just want you to believe that God is touching you
This is, this is, it's not a religious activity. It's an instruction that God gave us. Because you see, no matter how I lay hands on everybody one by one, we may not have all the time for everybody to state what their needs are. But then let me tell you something. The truth about it is that I'm not the most important person in this meeting. There is one who is mightier than I. You didn't write this request to Joshua Selma, and I will not even read one of them. This is unto the God who can solve problems. Mommy, please come. Yes. I've been looking at this woman, and I've been wondering what it is that God, what would you want God to do for you? To give me a quality spouse. To give you a quality spouse. This is what I'm looking at this woman and my heart had been drawn to her for a while. Madam, you want to get married because you are not afraid and ashamed to say this in the presence of the people. Look at me. I stake my reputation on this prophecy that I will give you. You hear me? If a man does not come to marry you, go and publish it in the newspaper that I lied. You believe what I'm saying? I will not implicate myself and be a fool like this. Because as soon as I looked at you, you said spouse. I saw a man putting a ring in your hand. That's why I'm telling you what I'm telling you. You believe this? Be sure to return and give the testimony. And everybody be sure to look at her. You are seeing her today. When she comes back with her husband. So you don't say that. This is stage manage. Father, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, just cover her. I'm going to pray. Let me have... Okay, it's Prof's water. I wish there's any other one just to pray on it and then they'll give her. She's too weak. We can't even test her whether or not. But I see her moving her legs and moving all of this. This is ordinary. Okay, this is ordinary water. We'll just pray on it since that's the only thing. She's a child, isn't she? Bata child, isn't she? Say me. Ruaka 
Father, I pray that this water will lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance. That as she takes this, oh God, let this be um, a cleansing agent. Let it be like a drug in her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can she hear you? Ask her how she's feeling now. I'm sorry, I forget this thing. So the matter you are taking, she, you see, she's gaining some strength. She couldn't move before, but we see her gaining some strength. Uncle, you don't. Can you see her gaining some strength? She's even moving. She's pushing her away. Same issue. Something is happening to her. Look at this. Are you seeing? Look at this. Look at this by herself. Oh. This is the power of the Lord. This in itself is a miracle. If you saw the way they brought her. Mama. Brother, the Holy Spirit is doing something in her life. My dear, as God grants you grace, you can just be moving your body gradually. We prayed on this. And um, Mama Gashi, Abata, Bakuaban is a shark, Amata Dua, there was a son about the crown. If you keep it there, all these children will come and take you. Stretch your hands on this prayer request as we pray. Let's pray on these requests. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands and let's ask the Lord to visit us. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. We are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. I'm seeing the Lord giving people miracles of jobs. Jobs. I see employment of jobs. I see a family that dropped a request here. Something about building a house. And it looks like you will not complete it. The Lord is saying before December 25th, you will enter that house. Please pray. Father, visit me. Talk to the Lord. Tell him your request is here. Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. every request here to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ requests of marriages may they be granted some of you have dropped requests here because the admission list came out and you did not see your name Lord we agree I don't know how you would do it but we agree that there be miracles In the name of Jesus. Lord, we release breakthroughs. We release all kinds of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands 
as I prophesy everyone I have grown to respect the power of prophecy I know that for many of you if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of Jesus Christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life supernatural breakthrough receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. please lay your hands on your head I pray father mm, this will come mighty on some of you a baptism of the spirit of wisdom receive it now in the name of Jesus shake it receive it receive it receive it receive it now now wisdom help him please wisdom in the name of jesus supernatural wisdom standing receive the impartation wisdom in business wisdom in career receive it in the name of jesus I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? Wherever they are, everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level. Between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper. Right now, everything that has died in your hands, I don't care what it is. I'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now Hallelujah. Every spirit that torments you and your family in any way, in dreams, in visions, I declare right now, they are silenced forever in your life. They are silenced forever in your life. anyone trusting God for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting God for a job the hands that are lifted in the name of Jesus 
the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus i pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of god receive the strength of god in the name of jesus christ between now and next week koinonia i pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually i command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of jesus christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of jesus every legal access satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of jesus christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of jesus listen i prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder i speak it upon your life in the name of jesus christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life I pray for your dreams and visions of the ideas God has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insight in the name of Jesus from today I declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting God for restoration I pray for you I don't know what you have lost I command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what I'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no I'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of jesus christ 
listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the holy spirit i pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of jesus christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of jesus christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah now very quickly we're out of time please keep standing everybody there are people here who are saying lord jesus i'm committing my life and my all to you please keep standing everybody no movements around there are people inside and outside here you came for this meeting and you have seen what the lord jesus christ has done and you are saying lord i want to surrender my life i've been living my life the way i want but i want to hand it over to you tonight some of you are giving your life to christ for the first time some of you are rededicating your life you said i've, I've come out once but something has happened in my life wherever you are in the next one minute i know many people outside those inside please join them come out here and i will lead you to give your life to jesus christ wherever you are young old don't sit down wait for anybody koinonia celebrate them make your way to the front don't be embarrassed this is what jesus can do with your life you've given people who are less than him your life why don't you commit everything i know this is not all there are still people inside and outside please make your way quickly god bless you as you come make your way quickly hallelujah while the rest join them god bless you keep coming quickly please hurry up and join them catch up with them it's a decision that will change your life forever we may not know who you are but we know where you are going because with jesus your journey is secured you've lived your life anyhow and you're saying i'm tired of playing games with god i want to make it right there is always room for you the throne is where you start from hallelujah praise the lord jesus i want you to lift your right hand and say after me lord jesus please say it very seriously say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe in you tonight I surrender my life completely to you take everything about me use me for your glory in the name of Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit from today I'm not the same person again the power of sin is broken over my life in Jesus name father I pray for these ones whose hands are lifted bless them they have made a decision for you they remain in you forever give them a new life in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you in the name of jesus now i'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving their hands they'll have your details and they'll welcome you more warmly very quickly madam we're finished praying tap that madam she can follow them hallelujah praise the lord now all those who are worshiping with us for the first time very quickly one minute make your way to the front we want you to go back with an anointing and with a blessing honor them koinonia they are the result of your prayers our mothers our fathers our brothers and sisters thank you so much thank you so much they are the result of our prayers our commitment we prayed and asked the lord to bring you and bless you Look how many people God is bringing. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, thank you so much, Sas, Mas. Thank you for coming. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. We're here. Every Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap 
the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you